Ocean Hall features over 600 specimens, scientific models, and tactile objects that allow our visitors to explore the ocean in all of its complexity and beauty. The National Museum of Natural History's unparalleled collections and ongoing research anchor this exhibition. This is the Ocean Hall exhibit. There's so much to see and do in the Ocean Hall that you could spend your entire day here. There's Nemo. Yeah. I found Nemo. So oceans make up 70% of the Earth's surface. Um, almost all of the habitable um, um, space on this planet is in the oceans. Uh, we've got a very thin veneer of atmosphere that we live in, but the oceans go down, you know, often uh, more than 10 kilometers. Once known only from fossils, the coelacanth was thought to have gone extinct around 65 million years ago in the late Cretaceous, during the great extinction that wiped out the dinosaurs. And yet, in 1938, one was found off the coast of South Africa alive. A fish almost entirely unchanged since the days of... Gosh, uh, look at the Spanish moss. Uh, um, that's a, something called bubblegum coral. Looks like it's got a brittle star clutched yeah. for dear life around the center of it. Yeah, it's fascinating to me that the, the brittle stars that like to live on these critters, they, you know, really, tight, really tighten up. tightly curl yeah. around them. When it ruled the seas, the megalodon lived in every corner of the ocean. While many movies and television shows have entertained audiences with the idea that megalodon might still be lurking in the deep sea, Scientists are confident that this prehistoric predator went extinct about 3.6 million years ago. The hall is named for Victoria and Roger Sant and family, Washington, D.C., philanthropists and Smithsonian supporters, who donated $15 million to endow the new hall and related programs and outreach activities. The hall, which opened in 2008, emphasizes that the world's waters are linked in a single ecosystem that influences all life on Earth. A joint venture with the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the Hall explains oceanography, biology, ecology and anthropology. <laughs> <laughs>